Today we have a question that's actually going to come from one of you. It comes from Ashley Fitzsimmons and her question is, Ryan, what social media should we be using as independent insurance agents? And that's a question I get quite a bit and uh, it's a good one, it's a good one. Social media is very prevalent in our world, there are lots of new platforms. Lots of misinformation about where you should be, a lot of chasing the shiny object. And uh, what we're gonna talk about today, real quick, are four, four episode four, four social networks that you should consider, consider using as independent insurance agents. Social network number one is Facebook. Facebook is the juggernaut. It is almost a can't not use, regardless of what industry you're in. So people use Facebook, people run businesses. So even if you're B2B, uh, you're going to find value in using Facebook if you're using the targeting features. Uh, Facebook is where people are. There are more people there than any other social network. They're active there. Don't believe the articles where this generation or that generation are cycling out. Everybody's there. Everybody's using it in different ways. And there are so many different things that you can do inside of Facebook. You know, post on your personal profile, post on your business profile, using Facebook Live, uploading native videos, sharing images, getting involved in groups, Facebook pages now have groups so you can create little subgroups inside of your pages um, you can tell stories long form content inside of blog posts is working really well in Facebook now so there are all kinds of things you can do in Facebook including advertising and if you're going to use Facebook and be successful there and reach a broader audience and more importantly reach the right audience with the right message using Facebook advertising is an absolute must you can really dial in with your amount of spend and your messaging and your imagery and whether you link out or whether you're just building brand value and or whether you're looking for engagement there's all kinds of things you can do with Facebook advertising and spend peanuts 5 10 50 bucks and really find out what message resonates and what doesn't with your content and target very specific people on a local level by job title, by income, by purchase history, by purchase intent. Facebook is number one. It's number one for a reason. Number two is also number two for a reason and that's LinkedIn. LinkedIn is almost another must use for independent insurance agencies, especially if you're B2B, but then also if you're B2C, because again, everyone has a job, everyone's using it for different reasons. Used correctly, you can get a lot of value B2C out of LinkedIn as well. Long form content inside of uh, LinkedIn posts is working really well. You have the LinkedIn publisher platform where you can repurpose blog posts. They just added native video, so like Facebook has native video, LinkedIn has native video now, and I've been playing around with that and getting some good engagement. So LinkedIn is where people go. I think it's, LinkedIn has really looked almost at what Google Plus was doing from a news feed standpoint and taking a page out of their book. And a lot of the features that made Google Plus so much fun and such a great place to connect even though it was only for a short period of time. LinkedIn has started to implement that in their own platform. The premium features inside of LinkedIn, if you're really, a, if you're a hungry producer or you're looking to meet new people or looking to get into companies that you may not have a connection at, LinkedIn is the place to be. It's, it's number two and it's, it's another must use for independent insurance agencies. Number three. This may or may not surprise you, but number three for me is Instagram. Instagram is just an across the board platform. Everybody, again, every generation is using it. They're using it because it's simple, it's easy, it's pictures, but now with uh, the, the LinkedIn, story feature where you can actually kind of do a day by day story feature and I'm pulling off I'm got my video set up here so I'm pulling off my camera but but you can now tell stories using LinkedIn and this is just really really powerful stuff and what I'll do you can see right in there there's the feed there's a little Tracy Cotton doing her thing. You hit this button, and any one of up these are stories. They're people's stories. And if you use the little the little camera feature right there and you click on that and now I can tell stories and you can actually see me talking and let's say I were to let's see if I can make this work here you can see me kinda now I'm gonna hold this 
and what's actually happening is I am going to be taking a short video and posting it to my feed on I'm gonna hold this there you go what's actually happening there is it is I am going to be taking a short video and posting and now if you were to check out my story feed today you would see that post in that story feed so it's kind of like a snapchat ish feature I think Instagram is gonna make snapchat obsolete to a certain extent I'm sure there will always be people that love it and and snapchat is definitely a viable company but they're not doing well fiscally and uh, when you have Facebook and Instagram and everything's connected and you can use all that targeting it, it really becomes tough for me to see why you would want to use Snapchat over Instagram at this point. Instagram is building your personal, the personal you, the humanizing you, the insurance agent. Instagram is where you do that. You're using Facebook because everybody's there. You're on LinkedIn to capture people who are in that business mindset. And then Instagram brings it all the way back and allows you to humanize yourself as an agent. It allows you to humanize your business through simple imagery, through using the Instagram story timeline. Instagram also transcends all the generations, so you're gonna find everybody there. And uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful tool, and it's where I would be. Uh, it's the third social media platform that I would consider. The fourth social media platform, and this is probably obvious considering the medium that you're watching this on, but that's video, and in particular YouTube. YouTube is a social network. It's a great place to share video. The videos are searchable. They get, that means that you can find them in both Google search and in YouTube search. They're easy to share, it's easy to comment. Uh, they've done a great job removing the spam and all that kind of stuff that comes along with YouTube. And the whole like Vimeo is for professionals and YouTube is for bloggers or vloggers thing is complete crap. Vimeo, no one goes to Vimeo, no one searches Vimeo. Vimeo doesn't show up in Google search. So putting your videos on Vimeo is a complete waste of time in my opinion. Now, if you're trying to become a professional videographer and want uh, the indie scene or the Hollywood scene to check out your videos, then go ahead, post your videos on Vimeo, good luck. But if you are an independent insurance agency and you're trying to have your videos found by potential customers or prospects so that they can be drawn into your agency, YouTube is literally the only choice. Now, there are certain instances where self-hosting platforms like Wistia make sense, and I know v Vimeo has a pro option that you can do similar things, but I would rather have Wistia, even though the cost is a little more, for the few privately hosted videos that you may wanna use and put everything else on YouTube. And we can talk about uh, why you'd wanna use a privately hosted video versus a YouTube video in, in a separate episode. but. Uh, YouTube is a must use. Now again, you're gonna have to take some of that video and natively upload it to, to Facebook or natively upload it to, to LinkedIn now, but that's okay. Have that platform on YouTube. It's so searchable. It's another front door for your agency and it's an absolute must. Absolute must at number four. Now guys, you may be asking yourself, Ryan, you only mentioned four social networks, but there's tons of social networks. You're gonna read a lot of things about a lot of social networks. I used to write about Snapchat a little bit. Disregard. If you aren't crushing it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, which is a lot of work, even me, a professional marketer who doesn't have to sell insurance every day, struggles to build, grow, maintain, provide value on all four platforms simultaneously, if you're not crushing it on those four, don't even consider the others. Don't even consider them. Pinterest, you gotta be kidding me. Snapchat, guys, there may be power in some specific edge cases where a Pinterest or a Snapchat or a Twitter may sense but I, I I found them only to be edge cases by certain personalities and certain niche markets that seem to click for whatever reason to spend an inordinate amount of time in those places is not making you money it's not moving your brand forward and it's not connecting you with the people that you want to do business with so focus on the big four Facebook LinkedIn Instagram YouTube you crush it on those four and I'll teach you how to use the others those are the social networks you should be on Ashley I hope that that answers your question. Thank you for your questions. Send your questions in, guys. I will answer them right here on the show for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button, that little thumbs up button. That helps me a lot. That gets this message out to more agents just like you so more agents can get this message. If you're not subscribed, subscribe by email. Guys, it's been my pleasure. I'm out of here.
The fourth platform, and this is probably obvious, and again, is probably the fourth social media. The fourth social media platform, and this one is probably obvious considering the the venue. <laughs> to make uh, their, their, their videos easy to share. Guys, I think, I think there, are, there are power in these small little edge niche, niche cases. <clears throat> Guys, there may be some niche cases, some niche cases, 